is Nancy with Button Farm Club. Um, I designed some books for them, mini books for them. And this is my latest using my Mind's Eye Gingham Gardens. You'll see on the cover it's very layered. And I did a different type of closure for this one. I um, used a key and a mini coin envelope and when you remove the key it opens the book. Now clearly I took the, the pages out of here because I wanted to um, be able to show them to you and lay them as flat as possible but I think I really like this key closure and I may just use it again. So this is very layered with um, my mind's eye chipboard and papers and I've paired it with basil cardstock and 49 and market flowers. The spine of the book is wrapped in ribbon and it has a little uh, chipboard embellishment at the top. So let me show you the pages. This is page one. No, it's not. I have these backwards. Wait a second, girls. Here's page one. And this is a pocket page. I liked the word hello on it since it was the first page. And I might tell you, you know, right now we're all going through the COVID uh, virus, COVID-19 virus, and this is a perfect book because it's about home and family. It's a really good book if you want to chronicle that um, particular time of our lives because it's just so unusual. I don't think anyone would remember anything quite like this. So with this pocket I've created an insert and this is a belly band so you can stick a, a photo, oh my gosh my mind, a photo inside the belly band as well as photos within the pocket itself. Turn the page and this is a, a string closure, for lack of a better word. So you'll be using um, little brads to hook this in place. And then this comes out. So you have a room for photos here and then two more photos on this one, front and back. Okay, we'll go to the next page. This paper is so adorable. I love all the colors with this. It's still vintage, but it's a bright vintage. And this one is a side flip. So I'm using a chipboard uh, banner flag to close the flip, and then this will open into a trifold. So again, plenty of room for photos on this page. I'm going to close that up. And the back side of that page is a three pocket tag. So we have one long one, one medium, and one short. Whoops. I have to glue that again. One short, just like the three bears. Well, not quite like the three bears, but you know what I mean. So that's that page. Then the next page is using another fold out with a um, side pocket. And it's just a really small side pocket. I'm using a lot of scraps for this one. So this one, I just added some tags to the front and then open it up. This is another side pocket. So if you want to put a small photo or some journaling in here, you can. And then an embellishment that closes up the page. And again, it'll come with a little brad in your packets. 
The next page is another flip, but I've done a something a little bit different on this one. Um, I've taken some pages and actually made some chipboard flips out of extra pages from the book. So first of all, this one has another tag flip. Open up, room for journaling or small photo, room for another photo. Decorations with the chipboard. And then this is going to flip open. And this flip is actually made from a piece of one of the pages. And then this is uh, tucked behind. So we'll close this up and go to the next page. Oh, I did that one. Never mind. Oh, my gosh. See what happens when you stay home too long? The mind goes. It's a terrible thing to waste. Okay, so this page is um, just a tuck behind, but I'm sorry, a belly band, a vertical belly band, but I did use a leftover piece of chipboard. So when I cut this chipboard, you'll notice that I cut the edge of the second piece of chipboard off. So I saved this piece, and this piece now became this belly band. So you'll cover that. The holes will be covered. You won't even know they're there. And then you have a belly band to whoops, slip anything you want behind there, a photo or journaling or whatever. Okay, we'll go to the next page. And this is a pocket. Simple little page with an insert. And some chipboard embellishments from your kit. This page, um, I decided I love this writing paper, this black and white writing paper, and I decided to tear a piece of this and use it as a side pocket with some of the 49 and market flowers. Now, when this was all done, I like to go through my scraps and see what else I can use, what's laying around after the fact. So after I tore this piece, I was, my book was completely finished, but I had the matching corner, if that makes sense. So I used this top piece and put it under, uh, pardon me, on the inside front cover. So now I can put a photo back here. I only glued on the side and the top so I could slip the photo behind if I wanted and glue that down. That would be a great place for a family photo. That's not in your directions, so um, you might want to make a note of that for later use. Then inside the pocket is another little folio made with the basil cardstock and decorated with a little um, bird from the collection. On the back side, I did a horizontal belly band. And when I do horizontal belly bands, I like to make a stopper so they don't fall all the way through the page. So I did that with the word blessings and chipboard. Again, it's part of your kit. And then made this um, journaling area for you. So I like these papers that are included in your kit with the black dots and I think they'd be great for journaling. Of course if you don't want to journal you can put a photo in there but I really think that would be cool for journaling. And that, whoops, that gets tucked, whoa, okay Nancy, need more glue there, gets tucked behind the belly band and then the blessings will stop it from falling through your page. Next page I used another chipboard piece from the book, cut off the end, and the measurements are all in your kit, and then um, took uh, a strip left over from another cut that I had made previously and made that into a side pocket, and you can tuck some included embellishments into the side pocket or photo. Open it up, and again, this is made out of a piece of chipboard book. You have a place for either um, journaling or photo. And then this is another belly band 
with some decorative chipboard elements from your book. And this was all white and black originally. And I decided that I needed some color to it. So I used colored pencils and um, colored the beeskeep and the grass and the board that it's sitting on. Then we'll close that up. And the last page of the book is one large pocket. This is from a leftover piece that was cut previously. I kept the advertising band on it because I thought it was so cute with the checks. And then created a tuck behind with um, ephemera from your kit. So it's flowers, another flower that I popped up, a tag, and since it had the word heart on it, I included the word happy above it, which is chipboard, and then the pink chipboard heart. You can tuck a photo behind here if you want. And then the top has a large tag, so this is good for two photos. So that's the book. I hope you enjoyed it. It was really fun to make. Lots of inclusions in your book included my happy key um, you all the keys in this will not be will not look like mine they're all going to be a little bit different than mine but for, what I did was thread the ribbon through the key and then the ribbon goes around to the back side it's only about two inches in glued down with wet glue and then put the paper over it um, to not only decorate the back cover, but also to hold the ribbon in place. So that's the book. Hope you enjoy it. And this is designed exclusively for the Button Form Club. Thank you.